Hi friends, it's Miss Isla. It's cookie week and I'm going to show you how to make my favorite brown butter chocolate chip cookies. Let's go! You're going to need flour, baking soda, salt, white sugar, brown sugar, vanilla extract, two eggs, two sticks of butter, and chocolate chips. To make the brown butter, you're going to start off by cutting your butter into small slices and then putting it into a pan or a pot. Next, you're going to cook the butter over medium heat, stirring often until it foams, then browns, and this should take about 5 to 8 minutes. When the butter becomes a little bit foamy and there are brown specks on the bottom, that's when it's ready. You'll hear a nice sizzle as well. Transfer the butter into a large bowl and let it cool slightly. You're just going to set it aside for now and we're going to work on our dry ingredients. In a medium bowl, you're going to measure out two cups of all-purpose flour. Try not to make a big mess like I did. Um, you're also going to add one teaspoon of baking soda and three quarter teaspoons of salt. In your bowl with the brown butter, you're going to mix in a cup of brown sugar and a third cup of white sugar, and you're just going to mix it to combine. Then you're going to add your eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla extract to your sugar butter mixture. I add mine one at a time just so that way they're all fully, so that way they're fully incorporated. Um, and you're just going to mix them until the mixture starts to lighten and it gets thick. Next, you're going to slowly incorporate your dry ingredients. I like to do this in thirds, just that way I know that everything's getting incorporated. Um, I don't want any dry bits in my cookie batter. And by switching over to a spatula, you're ensuring that the dry is mixing with the wet. And before your last bit of flour is fully incorporated, you're going to add in the chocolate chips. I don't measure out my chocolate chips, I kind of just do it by eye. I just really like a lot of chocolate chips in my cookies. So at this point, the dough is pretty loose and we want the flour to fully hydrate so that would be easier for us to scoop out on the cookie sheet. So we're going to cover it with plastic and set it in the fridge for about 15 minutes to fully chill out. While the dough is chilling, preheat your oven to 375. So once your dough is fully hydrated, you're going to portion out balls of dough and place them on a parchment lined baking sheet. I'm using two half tablespoons to measure mine out, but you could also just form them into ping pong sized balls. You're not going to flatten these because they're also going to spread a lot while they're baking. I also like to add an accent of sea salt on top of mine because it just makes them nice and fancy. Um, then you're going to bake these for about 9 to 11 minutes um, until the edges are golden brown, but as you can see, the centers are still pretty soft. Alright folks, and there you have it. A lovely, nice soft chocolate chip cookie. Let's see how it tastes. So yummy. My favorite cookie. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.